everybody's game of strategy, knowledge, and fun. It's Tic Tac Toe. And I am Rodney1279. Glad to have you with us. We're going to have an awesome time. I can feel it in my bones. It is July the 13th of 2024. Welcome to Tic Tac Doe. Glad to have you with us. We're going to have an awesome time. I can feel it. Before we do our main game of Tic Tac Doe, we're going to uh, talk to our returning champion with us. It is Justin Verschelling. How you doing, Justin? Good, well, you have a total of $92,500 right now. We ran out of time for you to do the Beat the Dragon game. Uh, have you been thinking about the Dragon all week? Uh, not really, but he's been in the last... He has been. He has been. So we're going to get right into the Beat the Dragon game, so that way you'll play it. Okay, once the screen comes up. All right, if you're ready to go, let's do the Beat the Dragon game. All right, Justin, you know the rules of the Beat the Dragon game. There is nine numbers on the board, and the object of the Beat the Dragon game is for you to attain $10,000 or more or get to take an attack before seeing my arch nemesis, How the Dragon. And if you manage to get $10,000 or get the tick and attack, you'll win $50,000, Justin, okay? Okay. Now, if you get the tick and attack on your first two picks, we're going to give you this melting jackpot of $165,000. So it's getting up there, okay? Okay. And you can stop at any time because if you hit the dragon... You'll lose all your money um, in this bonus round. The bonus round will be over with. You'll still have your $92,500, okay? Okay. Are you ready to play? Okay. Yeah. Here we go. And you can get help from the audience if you wish. What's your first number? Let's see what's in number one. Hey, now, Justin, this will be a great beginning. If you find the tax, we're going to give you $165,000. We'll add $10 to the tournament jackpot. Now, what's your number? Let's try number two. Number two. If Tack is behind number two, Justin, you win $165,000. Is Tack behind number two? No. So that means that the jackpot goes up to uh, by $5,000. So it's now $170,000 now, Justin. But you have $4,000 sitting there. Do you want to take uh, the $4,000 and stop or you want to keep going? I'm going to try number He's going to keep going. Going with number three. Let's see what's in number three. We have $1,500. $5,500, Justin. Do we stop or do we go? Let's try number Let's try number nine, number nine. Going with number nine. All you need is $4,500. Let's see what's in number nine. You did it, Justin. Good job. There we go, finally. And we have five dollars to the overall tournament jackpot. That is at one hundred and ten dollars now. And let's see where that dragon was. Let's reveal it. So the dragon was in the cave behind number eight, Justin. Nicely done. So that means that good the tick. Good thing I didn't go with Mike. Yeah, that's a good thing. So that means that the tic tac jackpot is now at one hundred seventy thousand dollars because you did not get on your first two picks, and uh. Let's go ahead and add your previous winnings to you. You have $50,000 there. We add your previous winnings of $92,500. And that means your total now is $142,500. Okay, Justin, if you want to, you can get back to your podium. And we're going to go ahead and do a game of tic-tac-toe with you against Mike. 
All right, Mike, how you feeling? Uh, doing all right. Leave it to me to pick the dragon. Yeah. Yeah, so we have $110. It's a bank is building up here. So are you ready to face against Justin, Mike? Let's go. All right, so y'all know the object of the game is to try to answer questions correctly before um, you trying to answer uh, questions correctly to put symbols on the game board. All the outer boxes are worth $2,500 a piece. And the uh, center box, the more difficult um, box, is always a two-question category, and it is worth $5,000. Whoever gets tic-tac-toe first, whether it's a cross, up and down, or diagonally, they'll win every dollar in the pot, and then they'll go ahead against that dragon for a possible $170,000 in cash, okay? All right, so with that all said, y'all guys ready to play tic-tac-toe? I'm ready. Here we go. Let's do tic-tac-toe. Here are the nine categories we have. We have TV, film, and books. Double or nothing. If you choose the double or nothing category, you can choose to take that box if you want to and keep that box or risk it for another box. But if you do risk it for another box um, and get the question right, you'll have both boxes. Miss the uh, next question, you'll lose both boxes. And that's double or nothing. We have game shows. Breaking news. We have vintage cartoons. We have history and geography. Entertainment, secret category. Now, if you choose a secret category and get that question correct, the value of the jackpot will double. And then we have sports. All right, Justin, you're trying to win your third game here. Which category tickles your fancy? I'm going to try double or nothing. Okay, hang on one second. Let me go ahead. And remember, y'all got your helps. Okay, so you're going with double or nothing. Okay. And you have 30 seconds to answer the question. Here it is. A random question. This is double or nothing. Here we go. Why do Olympic athletes bite their own gold medals? Is it A, to prove it's real? B, photographers request it? C, to leave teeth marks? Or D, to show respect to the host country? Uh... Yes, I'll read it again. Why do Olympic bites? Why do Olympic athletes bite their gold medals? Is it A to prove it's real? B photographers request it? C to leave teeth marks? Or D to show respect to the host country? I'm gonna use a 50/50. It's either photographers request it. Or D, to show respect to the host country. 12 seconds. D, D, D. D? D. Let's see. Yes. No! Photographers requested. Ain't that crazy? Come on. Ain't that crazy? Photographers requested. And let me explain I why they do that. that. Yeah. Once done to check the gold quality, no one's sure why this started at the games, but photos of a bite are big sellers. So you don't get that box, Justin. Wow. And we have an empty board with a shuffle. And it's Mike's turn. You know what? I think I'm gonna go... Let's do game shows. Go with game shows. Okay. Your question, Mike, on game shows? Alright. This veteran host used to commute between Los Angeles in San Francisco, where he simultaneously held the post as a disc jockey at KSFO and host of the dating game. Who is he? That would be Jim Lang. That is right. We put $2,500 in the pot. We have $2,500 there and we shuffle the board. And it's just in selection. Alright. Uh. Well, I'm going to go double or nothing. He's going to try again with double or nothing. Okay. You have your two skips, your 150, 50, and your 30 seconds left. So here we go. Double or nothing. A random question. Here we go. In kilograms and grams, roughly how much salt is in one cubic meter, meter of seawater? Is it A, one kilograms, B, 400 grams, 
C, 30 kilograms, or D, 8 kilograms? Uh, what are the multiple choices again? Okay, I'm going to pause it, and I'm going to give you, after I read them off, you make a decision. The choices are 1 kilogram, 400 grams, 30 kilograms, or 8 kilograms. You have 9 seconds. I'm going to say C. 30 kilograms? Yeah. 30 kilograms is correct. Okay. Okay, so that is correct. Now you can choose to keep that box if you want to, Justin, or risk it for another box, knowing that if you mess up, you'll lose both boxes. What do you want to do? I'm going to TV and film books. You are with TV, film, and books. This is for both boxes here. He's playing. And he's going with TV, film, and books. This is for both boxes. You still have your two skips, your 150-50, and your 30 seconds. Here we go. And the question is, Joey King brought her best friends to the Despicable Me 4 premiere. Her character in the movie isn't a pal of Drew's. Who does she play? Is it A, Poppy Prescott, B, Maxine Lamau, C, Valentina, or D, Eda? 10 seconds. Uh, book, 30 seconds. I'll read it again. Joey King brought her best friends to Despicable Me 4 premiere. Her character in the movie isn't a pal of Drew's. Who does she play? Is it Poppy Prescott? Maxine Poppy. Lame... What is it? The Poppy one. Poppy Prescott? Yeah. That is correct! You have both boxes! Let's go. Alright, so you use your 30 seconds, you just got your two skips, and your 50-50 left. We have $7,500 in the pot, and we shuffle. <laughs> and it is back to Mike. Okay, I gotta go sports to block. Going sports for the block, okay. First time using this category, here we go. Sports. Question on sports. Like father, like son, which NBA player plays for a team that his dad coaches for? Is it A, Devin Booker, B, Jimmy Butler, C, Jalen Brunson, or D, Anthony Edwards? Uh, let's skip this one. Skipping the question, so he used a skip. So that means you have one skip left, two 50-50s, and two 30 seconds. We're going to give you another sports question, and this is a bonus, uh, Mike, so if you get this question right, let's see what you win. So if you get this question right, you'll win $3,000 and the block, okay, Mike? Here's your okay. question on sports. Which of these players did not start the 2024 MLB season with the Los Angeles Dodgers? Is it A, Max Muncy, B, Shohel Anthony, C, Mookie Betts, or D, David Peralta? David Peralta. Let's see. You got the block! That's right! Alright, and you get $3,000 for that. That takes your wings now, Mike, to $41,000. And that $3,000 is yours to keep, win or lose. We have $10,000 in the pot, and we shuffle. Okay, what's your next plan of strategy, Justin? I'm going to try double or nothing again. You're going to do it again with double or nothing. Okay, question on the double or nothing, Justin. Here we go. A random question. You got your two skips and your 150-50 left. How many people aged under 18 are there in the United States? Is it A, 56 million, B, 92 million, C, 46 million, or D, 73 million? How many is 50-50? It's either 92 million or 73 million. Eight seconds. 90, 92 million. Let's see. No, it's 73 million. 73 million. That is just over a fifth of the population. There's a lot of younger... And you're included in that population, Justin. 
Yeah. So, uh, yeah. so you only got your skips left. You got two skips left. We have ten thousand dollars in the pot, and let's shuffle. All right, and it goes to Mike. Let me do game shows in the center box. Please. Okay, so this time it's going to be a two-part question, and you'll get that extra time. Okay. Your first game show question. Which popular game show is known for the iconic phrase, come on down? And the second one, which game show tested the knowledge recently married couples had about each other? Here's your time to think about it. All right, Mike, uh, which, which part you want to answer first? Since I was a little kid, it is The Price is Right. That's correct. Do you know the answer to the second part? I do. And it's provided a lot of memorable game show moments. It is The Newlywed Game. That is correct. We put $5,000 in the pot. We have $15,000 in the pot, and we shuffle it. All right, Justin. Uh, let's try Victor's cartoons for block. First time in this category. I never did this topic before. Let's see what this is about. Vintage cartoons. Here we go, your question. What are dastardly and mutley trying to nab, tab, jab, and grab? Is it A, the fox, B, the dragon, C, the cat, or D, the pigeon? I'm going to say C. The cat, no, it's not the cat. It's Stop the Pigeon, Stop the Pigeon, Stop the Pigeon. That's the name of the song. Yeah, they always sing Stop the Pigeon. Yeah, it's such really a, yeah, such a old series. We still have $15,000 in the pot and we shuffle. Micah, uh, which category? Let me go for sports for the win. Wait. And and Mike, if you get this right in sports, it'll be tic tac toe. Seventeen thousand five hundred dollars. Your wins will go up to fifty eight thousand five hundred dollars, and you'll be the champion. Okay. Question on sports. Question on sports. Here it is. Can you name the horse that won the two thousand twenty four Kentucky Derby? Is it A, Mystic Dan, B, Catching Freedom, C, Sierra Leone, or D, Forever Young? Oh, let's do a 50-50 on this. It's either Mystic Dan or Forever Young. That would be Mystic Dan. Let's see. You have Tic Tac Doe! Good job! $17,500, Mike, so you're the champion, and you're going to go ahead and face against that dragon in a second. Justin, you did well on this run. You won $142,500, and our congratulations, Justin, okay? Thank you. All right. Well, um, well, Mike, are you ready to go ahead against that dragon, Mike? Bring on the dragon. All right, let me see how much time we have left. We may have time for another game. Somebody alert Blanky for me. Hmm. I didn't need to use the helps too often. I only needed two helps in that game. Yeah, that was a good job. That was a good, good job here. So you have $58,500 in two wins. Remember, if you win five games in a row, you win a car. Five games equals a car. Yep. All right, so here we go. Let's go ahead and do the Beat the Dragon game. <laughs> I love that cartoon, um, that dastardly, muffly and dastardly, stop the pigeon. Alright, so you know the rules of the game, there's the numbers on board, the goals to get to $10,000 or get the tick and attack. Remember, Mike, if you get the tick and attack on your first two picks, we're going to give you $170,000, okay? Okay. Yeah. Here we go, let's go ahead and cover that board up. You know the rules. Here we go. Go ahead and start selecting. A 
Okay, I'm gonna go through the middle and start dead center number five. Let's see what's in number five. Three thousand dollars. So that means so that means that the jackpot now is at one hundred seventy-five thousand dollars now. And uh, what's your option, Mike? You want to take the three thousand walk or keep playing? Let's continue through the middle with six. Number six. Let's see what's behind number six. He's going. Number six. Yeah, twenty-five hundred dollars. That's fifty-five hundred dollars. Now, do you want to stop or go? Let's finish off the middle line with four. Okay, if four has the five thousand, you win fifty thousand dollars. Let's see what's behind number four. Let's see. You did it. That's another five dollars in the pot, making it a hundred and fifteen dollars. And we're gonna add that fifty thousand dollars up there. Let's see where that dragon was. What do y'all think he was at? With my luck, he was probably behind number three. Number three. Let's see. Oh, he stayed there at number eight again. Oh, the. Oh my. That dragon is lazy. That dragon's lazy. Well, listen, Mike. You have that fifty thousand dollars there, and your previous winnings of fifty-eight thousand five hundred dollars. That gives you a total of $108,500. Alright guys, we're going to take a quick station identification break. And when we come back, we'll do more tic-tac-toe after this. <laughs> 